Yeah, I mean, every department in the city and every part of what we're doing has been looking at how we can save and, and, and reduce budgets as we go through. And because of some of those uncertainties and, and, uh, and some of the issues that we're, we're facing within the budget, and there was some, some strong cases made, I think I want to make it clear that the gallery uh, is a very, very important part of the future of the city and it needs to open and open adequately um, and have the, the resources in place. But given some of these questions about the timelines and, and relative to what we've put in the gallery to get ready for this increase, the $75,000 is quite a modest reduction. I mean, and I've supported uh, getting the increases in place so that we will have the resources in place and to, to open properly. It's part of, of uh, getting ready in a lean budget and a lean budget year that everybody participates in, in that uh, cost cutting. Parks and playgrounds are one of those things that people in neighborhoods are looking at and saying we want to make sure we've got vibrant neighborhoods. A lot of our parks and playgrounds are aging um, and people are raising money to, to, to try and fix them. By just taking a different approach using the funding we already have, we can have more impact on getting those uh, parks and playgrounds fixed up um, by just changing the way we fund it. And so that is separate from the addition, the additions to taxes that were in that, that chart. Okay. But I support looking at how we can do that approach because I, I know uh, that a lot of people want us to make sure they're seeing that aging playgrounds and parks are, are, are given, are rejuvenated and, and that they live in neighborhoods that they're proud and excited about because they're seeing that investment happen.